Seeing it's midwinter, I figure I'd do something to help our hummingbird feeders out because we have a neighbor across the street that um, raises bees in the summertime and they come over to our, bird, our hummingbird feeders and just dominate them where the hummingbirds can't get near them. So we found these, we used to have these flowers here, the flowers that all of them have on it. And they are, the bees just love them. They're not bee guards at all. Um, so we found these doing some research on the internet there from Perky Pet replacement bee guards four pack of them it's about uh, four dollars or five dollars or whatever depending on where you get them and uh, I'll put the um, description of them in the video but what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them flower with these I already did a set and I realized hey should I film this why not so I'm putting these on I'm using some RTV red uh, RTV silicone seal only because I um, have it and it's harmless when it's dry so when it dries it won't affect the hummingbird stuff or anything else it's just it'll be uh, free and clear um, it won't uh, poison the birds um, these things I can't get too close with this camera but um, these things are made for a certain model of um, hummingbird feeders and these holes on the old ones don't fit. So what do I do is I use a tool like this, and I by hand, I don't use a drill because it'll take off, and then I just manually drill them holes out big enough so this fits in. And then I lightly sand all the shininess off the mounting surface here, and then the mounting surface of the hole, and then I put the RTV on it with a Q-tip, like you see over here with the little stuff there. And then I stick them down, and you can, if you see, I put enough on so it, it don't go inside the hole. It just oozes on the outside. See, and then then when I get when it when this dries, I'll scrape off the excess. I really don't have to, you know. But uh, so we'll see how that works. But I put enough on so I make sure it's sealed because uh, uh, the fluid leaks sometimes around here. This flower, and then the bees start sucking on it, and you know these things work on. You start uh, drawing fluid from them; they just keep coming. So I had to come up with something because otherwise we we got to stop feeding the hummingbirds around uh, all late June, mid July because there's too many bees. So I put these on, and that's done. Okay, now I got two hands. These things pop open, so I guess you can clean them. They're not easy to pop open, that's which is good, but. There they go. Just squeeze them. See how they pop open? See? And that way you can clean them. And there have been complaints. People said the hummingbirds can't get there. They can't figure it out. Well, we'll see. I've heard complaints and I've heard people say no problem. They'll learn. But it's the only choice we got. Otherwise, the bees will uh, take away all the glory of this beautiful, um, um, beautiful thing. Basically, all you need is any RTV sealant. Clear you can use if you want. I had red. Didn't buy it specifically for this. It was for something else. You need some denatured alcohol to clean the shiny, the, the silicone, the treatment on the off the things. You need sandpaper piece. I'm using 400 grit. And all you do is you just go around okay. the. Another thing too, you Q-tips. That helps. Okay. Now it's just a matter of. You can use your want to drill whatever. I find this works perfect because. It don't grab and dig in like a regular twist drill bit. And you just stick it in the hole and twist it like this. You might have to hold it here a little bit. It takes a little force. Yeah, you get the idea. It's hard to show you without blocking the camera view. You can use any way you want to make the holes. This is the way I find it. It's the way I can control it. Now when I get to there, I just... Make sure it's nice and clean in there. Now I just take one of these and see if it fits. Nope, a little bit bigger. It's close. But these are sort of tapered, so you don't want to have it tight because I'm not going to repeat and show you every one because it'll get boring. But here's what I do I just take any way you can do it. You might have a, a buffer on a Dremel tool. I do it too, but I'm not going to take it out because it's not worth it. And I just go around the, the where the caulking is going to be put so because it don't the silicone don't stick that good to shiny plastic and of course I clean it with denatured alcohol I just take the shininess off just enough 
to take the shininess off. See, that's it. You, I know you ain't gonna be able to see it with that camera. The camera's got no zoom, and you can't get closer than like 12 inches or something. So, now that I got all them set, and now for this here, you do the same thing here. Just by the hole, just sand around the hole. Just so that the silica will have some good surface. And get rid of all the burrs so it's clean. But this red stuff, it's called um, Red RTV Silicone, High Temp Gasket Maker. So, Permatex. 81409. But you don't need it for this. You can get any kind. I think just regular silicone will do the job. Now when you get done with that, when you get done with that, then you put some denatured alcohol on it. Put it on a paper towel. A little bit. You go around and clean up all the ooh, all the sticky icky stuff. Pretty self-explanatory there. But I don't see no videos on showing people how to modify these older. This is one of the favorite models of um, hummingbird feeders. I'll give you the model number here in a second. They don't they don't sell this anymore. They discontinued it. I don't know why Perky Pet discontinued it, but. It, it don't leak. The other ones I hear leak where they're seamed together, right? The two bodies are seamed together. Well, these are seamed a little differently. They're sealed here and they don't leak. And uh, that's good. And I'm not going to show you the last one because um, it's the same thing as repetitive. And then when I get all these done and they dry overnight, then I'll scrub them out, wash them out and everything else. And then I'll, um, um, I'll put them back and keep on the shelf till spring, till the hummingbirds start showing up, which for us is around uh, late May. A little paper towel, like this. Get a Q-tip. Okay, you got yourself a pencil. And the reason for the pencil is, is Good luck trying to hold on to this thing like this when you're putting it on. It's just going to fly all out of your hand and take off. Take a pencil or whatever you get, stick it in here like this, lock it in. There you go, see? Now you can do it without getting your hands dirty. You're going to get your hands dirty a little bit anyhow, so have a paper towel ready. There you go. Okay, now get your RTV sealant. Hopefully you have a tube. I got a big, huge cartridge because uh, what I used it for, for sealing wood stove cracks seams I mean in the just make a little pile not in really while you can get something cheaper because this that this red stuff is pretty expensive okay now you just dip the q-tip in there go around I don't know how good you're seeing this just go around the outside of the hole Now, that hole's done. You, know, you can see, see how I, I just put it all the way around it and a little bit on the inside, that little dip. Now, here's the thing. You take this thing here. Let's get this out of the way so you can see. Even though the camera's 4,000 miles away. There you go. I put sit this down like this. Rotate this around. And then just rotate it while you spin it around, however you want to do it. It's the first time I did this, so... I'm not proclaiming to be an expert. Be sure to put it on thick enough so it oozes out. That way you know that uh, it's sealed. Nothing worse, you get it all set up, stuff in there, and all of a sudden it starts leaking because the bees will find a little leak and they'll start going like crazy. I don't even know if these things work. The people say they work. We'll find out. I just keep loading it up more than you think it needs but don't go too heavy, um, don't go over the edge if you can help it because you want to be able to swing that door open if you have to clean it I don't see any reason I clean mine with, with bleach 
Okay, see? Now I don't know if you can see it or not, but see how big and loaded it is? So it ooze out. Now if you notice, there's a little, here's the hinge to the cover. You want that facing that way on the, so when you put it down, when you put it down in the hole, get this garbage out of the way, set it right down, put it right in the hole, and then push it down like that until it oozes, see how it oozes out? You say, oh, that's not, you can you, you trim it off if you want to later on. It's up to you. But make sure the hinge is up so that when you, you peel this up this way, you see? Well, you can do it sideways, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. And go around and look for any spills or any mistakes. And then just repeat the process where the other holes go around, do it all over again. Put it on here, put it on here first, or whatever, and then put it real heavy here. And when you push it, you want it to be oozed out. Because if you don't, and there's just a little gap in there, you got to pull that one off and do it all over again. So I might as well do it right the first time. So I'll do the rest of these and then I'll uh, come back when it's done. And here's another one. That makes two. See how that stuff oozes out? That's what you want. There you go. That's two done. Two down. One to go. This one looks like it's drying pretty good. we got to find a place to put these so I don't knock them on the floor. I don't got much room here. And after a while, that's why I don't put too much of this stuff down because it starts getting, see, hard. It takes a while, but... Oh, I was going to tell you the part number of that thing. Let's see. Let's see. I made my own hanging set up. Let's see. On the bottom of the glass, it says, Perky Pet Products, number 210. Number 210. Well, there's the, the assembled product. The, the, the hook is on the other side to hang it. But there's how it looks when it's done. So... And you can see the the residue, but I'll peel that off. It'll peel off real nice when I'm done. And um, I'll let that dry. And then here's the the tool. I think they're called step drills, step bit drills. I got mine at Harbor Freight. You buy like a three pack of them, and I made a little stand for them. See, it goes right in here. See, I made a stand in my broke the tip off one, but it took a lot. These are pretty good drills. They're, they're pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. You get them in two packs or three packs or whatever, and boy, they come in. If you want to drill through plastic, don't use a, a regular twist strip drill bit. Use these things. They do a beautiful job. Make a nice clean hole. And granted, I could have used the drill to drill these holes out, but I like to have more control, but these work like a charm. But they're at Harbor Freight. They're like a three packs, like, I don't know, I'll give you a link, they're like eight, nine bucks. You get them cheaper when they're on sale. But uh, they work real good. So, well, you know, I just wait for them to dry and clean off the excess silicone. And all done. And then we'll see if it works.